Assalamu alaikum to all the Muslim brothers and sisters out there, and greetings to all the non-Muslims out there. As you can see from the title, I'm just going to talk to you a little about why I chose Islam. Um, basically, I am a, I was born into a Jewish family. I am Jewish by blood. Um, I, my parents were not very religious, but my grandparents were somewhat religious, and I did learn Judaism through them. Um, basically, I chose Islam for a variety of reasons. Um, before Islam, I was main, I was mainly uh, atheist until recently when I started believing in God more strongly. Uh, the things that made me uh, believe in Islam, uh, mainly my wife, she taught me lots of things about it before we got married, and. The things that really attracted me towards Islam and the things I already believed before I started believing in Islam, um, I, I did believe that there was one God that created all of us and that no race or nationality mattered in God's eyes and that we were all completely equal. And the second thing was I did believe a heaven and hell. I think that anybody who doesn't believe in heaven and hell is just thinking completely illogically. It just doesn't make sense why we can do all these horrible things and not get judged. And I think that's one of the reasons why uh, all the main religions don't consider animals being judged because animals follow instincts. They don't make, they don't have complex thoughts. They do things that they're basically programmed to do. Uh, an animal doesn't kill another animal for fun. An animal kills because it wants to survive. Whereas human beings, we we do the craziest things just for the heck of it. Uh, but anyways, so I thought that there must be a higher authority and there must be a God and I believe the good people should be rewarded and the bad people should be punished. So heaven and hell was the main reason why I started believing Gave, that was one step forward to my reversion to Islam. Uh, the other things that made me believe was the fact that the prophets in Islam were the ones that Christians and the Jews believed in, and that they all had a common, common starting point, basically. So that also helped me believe in it some more. Uh, the other things that made me believe in Islam were the scientific evidences in the Quran, I think that the main things that, and I remember just getting a ch chills on my spine when I first read it, was the fact that in the Quran it talks about the Big Big Bang Theory and that the expansion of the universe. And these two things were the, were really huge. They they pretty much almost convinced me. Um, that was a big big convincing point. Uh, the other reason why I chose Islam was because I think it was complete. It, it's completely misunderstood, and I think that a lot of people are brainwashed by mainstream society into thinking that this religion is so evil. And what I've come to notice is that the thing that anything that the mainstream society sees as bad is usually quite the opposite. So. That was another reason why. That that's another reason that helped me be convinced that Islam was the truth. Um, besides that, though, uh, basically the main beliefs in Islam was already something I already believed in, so it was really easy for me to believe in Islam. Um, I think that a lot of the people out there, especially the Christians, I think they're very very misguided. And I think they believe in things that is not even in their own Bible. Um, I think the Bible's the main teachings of the Bible is exactly what Islam teaches, and I think any non-biased Christian will be able to see that also. And I can give hundreds of examples of that. Um, so yeah, I I pronounce my shahada about seven months ago. Actually, it was during December of 2008, around Christmas, ironically. And ever since then, I've 
I've had some hiccups in my faith. Sometimes my faith won't drop a little, but it always bounced back up after just started starting to think more logically about things. I knew that it it was the truth. Um, so yeah, I think that everybody just needs to look into Islam more with an open mind. If a Jew that grew up in a Zionist household can believe in Islam, I think anybody can believe in Islam. And I was taught that Muslims and Arabs were bad. I was taught that Israel had a right to be there. I, I was taught all the principles of Zionism. But, you know, after you look into things, into things yourself and stop listening to what everybody else says, you, you start to know the truth. And I'm happy to say that I found the truth, and I believe the truth is Islam. And to all the non-Muslims out there that are watching this, I think Islam is so logical that if Islam is not the true religion of God, then there can be no God. That's how logical I think that Islam is the true religion of God. It's either Islam or it's no God at all. That That's, that's all it can be in my eyes. So if you are a Christian, Jewish, Hindu, Buddhist, whatever else is out there, if you're watching this, I think you should take a look into Islam and you'll see that it is very logical and one of the most misunderstood religion on this planet. And I thank you for watching my video and peace be unto all of you.